What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this beautiful Sunday, July 3rd, 2022. This is the date, about 12.43 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows some movement. Looks like a 1.2 in the area of Southern California. Looks like uh, around the Elsinore Fault System. Let's go ahead and check out some details here around the map. We'll start off here with the USGS map here looking at the broader view make sure I got this updated which it has been looks like a little activity ramping up here around our watch area seeing quite a bit of movement here around the Peru area and the Chile area recently quite a few deep earthquakes in this region including another deep earthquake 4.6 at 141 kilometers so things still kind of uh, subducting there into that trench region the subduction zone the Peru Chile trench major area of seismic uh, seismically hazardous large earthquakes but for now quite a few deep earthquakes and again this is all adding strain and stress upstream just keep that in mind uh, as far as the states go 2.5 and above a little activity up here looks like into the idaho area north of boise and some movement out into the desert of nevada next to eureka looks like they had a 3.5 earlier this morning West Coast, though, nothing showing up here on the 2.5 and above. Low activity throughout Texas and the New Madrid zone over here. Seeing this one come in last night with a 2.7. Let's go ahead and bring up the all magnitudes, see if we got anything different. Uh, looks like still got one little earthquake aftershock sequence here. Uh, this one occurring last night, it looks like a 1.6 in the South Carolina region. Doesn't really add too much in terms of the microquake activity out east, but for the West Coast, it's always an active spot considering the plate boundary that exists out here between the North American Pacific Plate. Low activity, spotty activity up here in the Sierra Nevada. Or it looks like right around the Lake Almanor area. <clears throat> Excuse me, just south of there. Near the Canyon Dam. A little 2.2. Some activity around Redding as well. Uh, Bay Area looks pretty quiet today. Just a little spotty movement uh, throughout the Bay and uh, down along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, here's that activity we're seeing on the Earthquake 3D globe. Looks like on the... Uh, looks like that one was off the Elsinore Fault system, a little 0.9. Still seeing a little swarm here near the San Jacinto Fault zone in between these little segments. A couple small microquakes in that area. A uh, little spotty movement down along the Brawley Seismic Zone overnight. No major swarms to report though in this area. Just a couple small quakes there to uh, make themselves known. Alaska, a little spotty activity also throughout the region there. Things kind of tapering off far as large scale movement goes here along the uh, western portion of the Pacific Plate. Uh, we have noticed an increase in activity, a little crunching going on here around the Indonesia area and up into uh, portions of the northern end of the Java Trench. It looks like a couple fours overnight in that area. Uh, one earthquake, this one was from last night uh, near the uh, Myanmar area up here in the China region. Looks like uh, oh, north of there, looks like we had a low activity in this area. Again, this was from last night, this movement. So um, kind of looks like things are coming to a halt for the most part right here on this area and uh, getting a lot of uh, back building of pressure along the um, the North American plate here and also down into the South America region. Things just kind of lighten up a little bit. Uh, looks like Hawaii. Got a few earthquakes showing up there as well. Um, looks, looks like a couple up here around the Mauna Loa area as well, 1.9. Most of the activity has been confined here to the southeastern region around the Pahala area of the Big Island. Let's see what else we got here for Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I believe little activity some of this movement here showing up on the graph here is activity in Idaho kind of a more distinct uh, flat type event not localized to the station that's kind of how you can tell these earthquakes are uh, a distance from this seismograph normally earthquakes are going to look something like this a little bit more spiky and um, even that one right there is a little bit more uh, noticeable as far as localized activity goes but when you see events like that it's kind of uh, letting you know that uh, it's more distant from this seismograph station let's see what we got here not a whole lot going on here 
at the Yellowstone area currently. Uh, let's see, Earthquakes Canada. We'll go ahead and check them out. We haven't checked them out in a few days. See what's going on up there to the north of us. At least north of me. Uh, looks a little... Uh, what's going on here? Pretty slow. Not for sure what's going on. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and skip them for right now. They may be having some issues going on. We'll check out the EMSC data. Make sure we got things uh, covered here. There's all that movement that we're looking and uh, looking at and noti noting along the Java Trench and the Indonesia area. Seeing quite a few fours in the mix there. Uh, looks like a little, looks like some fours out here around the uh, Iran area once again. Uh, let's see. It looks like this is from uh, earlier, not showing up on the USGS map. So there is some fours kicking up here throughout the uh, portions of the Middle East. And uh, down here along the Fiji Islands area south of there, we got a 4.8. That one coming in earlier this morning as well. Let me see if the USGS was stating that one on here. No, they're not They're not really reporting anything over here. So that's a little odd. So yeah, a little 4.8. Also some movement. Uh, oh, actually, Japan looks pretty quiet except for that one 4.4, which the USGS, I believe, showed. Yep. Woohoo! South America, there's, like I said, there's quite a bit of activity ramping up here in the South America region. Quite a few threes and twos in the mix in here as well, uh, all pointing towards some deeper movement. And uh, this area does accumulate quite a bit of slip rate in a short amount of time. So definitely keep an eye on that area. Let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, not going to make it a huge update today. Uh, just another quick announcement. Um, um, if you didn't get a chance to join the 75,000 subscriber giveaway video, uh, you have up until uh, basically we're going to leave it up for two weeks because a lot of people aren't on YouTube every day. Uh, they could be on vacation. They could be somewhere. So I'm leaving that uh, 75K subscriber entry video up for two weeks. Uh, and then we'll do the uh, random drawing live for six people. Uh, win some prizes such as uh, Earth Master merchandise. Could be a shirt, could be a hat, could be um, socks, coffee mug uh, of your choice, and then also some um, uh, some art, cool artifacts we found when we we're digging for the uh, uh, 1700 tsunami up along the Oregon coastline. Uh, Going to include that in there as well um, in a little cool little file, and we'll include a little bit of information on that as well, so you guys know what you're looking at. So make sure you enter if you haven't already. You've got uh, quite a bit of entries, but we're going to leave it up for two weeks. That way folks have the chance to get in on that drawing as well, just in case they're not on here all the time. Solar sunspot activity, pretty quiet. There's only a couple developing, uh, developing sunspots. Uh, nothing significant in terms of producing any type of solar flares. Looks like maybe a sea flare threat. It looks, kind of looks like we're getting one right now um, here on the solar... Uh, X-ray flux, one minute data. Looks like we got a little minor C flare kicking up. Let's see where that's coming from. Kind of looks like uh, looks like it could be coming from a maybe a far side sunspot somewhere because I don't see anything sparking off here. At least in this map, uh, we do have a coronal hole that uh, is facing us. 97's kind of grown a little bit, so that could have sent some uh, solar wind towards our region uh, in the coming nights. So higher latitudes may have a good chance of seeing some activity. We'll watch that closely though. Not always do we see that see this uh, get elevated uh, in terms of the three day geomagnetic forecast. Just depends on uh, this is going above us or to the side of us or right now it kind of looks like it should hit us. Uh, let's see what else we got. A little bit of a uh, blackout here on the radio. Uh, the high frequency activity. Kind of showing a little bit of a uh, blackout here over the uh, Pacific, right off the coast of Southern California. Again, it looks like a C 1.4 currently. And I'm um, not for sure if this is going to peak out or not, or if it has already. Looks like it has. Eh, it might be able to get a little bit higher. But uh, we're not expecting any type of major flares. There's, the possibility is just not there. 
currently looking at the uh, the sunspot and the magnet uh, magnetic polarities here the fields do not look all that complex but we'll keep an eye on it right we'll definitely keep an eye on it all right guys i'm gonna bounce out of here a lot cooler out here today in california <clears throat> uh, it's actually kind of cold this morning drop down to uh I think about 55 degrees out there this morning it's only supposed to be in the upper 70s here today that's kind of a big deal considering we've been in the hundreds and upper 90s for quite a while now so i'm okay with the uh i'm okay with the cooler temperatures i'm not a big time heat guy unless there's going to be thunderstorms that uh, follow that heat which we don't get uh let's see pretty active here on the emsc globe but remember this also includes the uh, usgs 4.0 and above Pretty active. Couple spots to watch for sure. Looks like I've included. Looks like I got it down there at about 1.8 and above. I don't want to have that many. As far as the magnitude goes, I'd like to keep it around 2.0 and above. That way uh, it doesn't get super cluttered here on the uh, map. So again, 2.0 and above around the globe. All right, guys. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later tonight uh, for the update video. Peace out, everyone.